I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. Hola Chanelis, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Jayla, also known as Jay Chanelli on the internet, so that is where you can find and follow me. Today I'm coming to you giving ASAP Rocky, but we're about to give Chaka Khan because I'm going to actually blow out my hair and we're gonna blow it out using this Revlon One Step Dryer and Styler. Y'all know, y'all seen it, especially if you've been on YouTube at all. I got this baby on sale, so we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see how it works on my type for natural hair and hopefully get beautiful blowout results. If you wanna see that video, go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get into the video, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can know anytime I post a video on YouTube. Last thing you definitely need to do is follow me on my hair Instagram at Jayla's Hair. They always get the hair deeds before YouTube does. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So it's protective styling season for me, especially being at home, I got nothing to do. I'm about to slap some braids in my hair. But before I do that, I need to go ahead and blow out my hair just so it's easier for me to install my braids. I'm gonna blow out my hair using this Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Now, if you actually see my flat iron tutorial, I did use this product, but I borrowed it from my cousin. Um, I went ahead and picked up my own because Fat Kid Deals was having a sale on it. It was like $32, so that's why I picked this up. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna work on this first quadrant. Before I go in and detangle this with a wide tooth comb, I am gonna go in with product just because I don't want my hair to be dry while I'm detangling it. I'm actually gonna use this Mio Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Refreshing Spray. Just enough so that I have some sort of slip when I'm detangling and working my way up from the ends to the roots. I'm a responsible natural hair guru, so we are gonna go in with some heat protectant. I'm using the Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. Now, I did something that people normally don't do, and I actually read the instruction manual, and the one thing that jumped out at me is that when you are blow drying, they say not to hold it like this, because I'm guessing that this isn't ergonomic and this is eventually gonna cause you discomfort. They say to hold it like this when you're blow drying, okay? Just so you know, this, Blow dryer has three settings, cool, low, and high heat. I'm going to go in with low heat because again, I'm not prepping my hair to be flat ironed. I'm just prepping it. I just need it to be stretched basically. So let's go in with low heat and see the results. The main thing I'm trying to do here is brush my hair vertically along the shafts or down the shaft to minimize any frizziness that I may get just from blowing that heat everywhere. Also trying to keep as much tension on my hair as possible. So this is kind of tension method and brush method. First of all, they snap. When they said no tangles, they really meant no tangles. Let me show y'all the hair that actually came out of that section. This right here is the amount of hair that came off onto the bristles of that blow dryer. This is nothing, y'all. Glided through my hair. Wow. My hair definitely feels soft. It's also oily because I put way too much heat protectant on, but that's okay. I will reduce the amount of heat protectant that I use. I'm gonna go in with the cool setting. Just to lock it in. So let's go ahead and just twist up this section and we will come back to it later. I think we definitely got our maximum stretch. Let's go ahead and do this section. Right now I'm going in with the Curl Refreshing Spray by Miel. Okay, we are nice and detangled. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that heat protective spray. And this time, I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me to go through this section. Starting that timer now. For each section of hair, I'm running through with that blow dryer on low heat, and then I'm closing my cuticles up by going in with cool heat. It took me two minutes to get through that section. This is what it looks like. Two minutes a section. I'm doing my hair in eights. 
That's 16 minutes of blow drying time. It usually takes me over an hour to blow dry my hair. I it usually takes me over an hour to blow dry my hair and now I can get through a section in two minutes. So those two sections are completely done. My hair feels so soft, y'all. It really, really, really feels nice. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this back section and then I'm probably gonna do this side off camera and come and talk to you. Okay, y'all, so we are back. Let's talk about this blow dryer and all the claims, how it held up to the claims and then we can reveal what my hair looks like, okay? Spoiler alert, this thing is the bomb. We, we won't be touching another blow dryer, okay, y'all? Claims, less heat-related damage. That's the only claim that I can't confirm for you right now because obviously I won't know if I have heat damage until after I wash my hair. This ionic technology that reduces frizz and enhances shine, yes. My hair was so sleek, so smooth. Um, The large paddle design dries and smooths hair quickly, absolutely. We definitely cut my drying time in half. Y'all, it usually is a hassle to blow dry my hair because I know how long it's gonna take. It usually gets hot and smoky in my bathroom when I blow dry my hair. None of that happened with this, y'all. It doesn't smell in here, it doesn't stink in here, I'm not overheating. Just a 10 out of 10 experience as far as the drying time. The detangling bristles help dry, smooth, and style hair. Absolutely, I got minimal shedding, minimal um, hair getting pulled out when I was using this. It really helps to make sure that your hair is thoroughly detangled beforehand, but this definitely is very nice to type for natural hair. It won't get like caught all up in your kinks and stuff like that. The last thing it says is lightweight ergonomic design for maximum comfort and ease of use. Yes, I usually have to take breaks when I'm blow drying my hair because my hands will get uncomfortable. This was so comfortable, y'all. Again, I did read the instructions and it tells you not to blow dry your hair like this because this can get uncomfortable. Just to hold it at the handle as so. I did that, I tried to do that the entire time and my arms don't hurt. I don't feel like I've been detangling the whole time. Like it was a very easy experience. So if you have type four natural hair and you're wondering whether you should pick this up, get it. You can wait like me until you see a deal on Fat Kids Deals or Amazon. That's where I got mine from. But it is 100% worth it, y'all. I'm so pleased with my results. I'm so pleased with this whole process and I hope that this doesn't make me want to blow dry my hair more often because we are not trying to get any more heat damage than we already have, okay sis? Let's finally reveal our blowout results. So this is what my hair looks like all blown out. Hey y'all, this is my hair. These are the final results. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you think I got a good blowout. Thank you so much for watching. If it was your first time here, do not leave here without hitting that subscribe button. If it wasn't your first time here, still don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. Also like this video so that YouTube can share with other people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.